What is going on guys? It's Rob aka Flight Sim today and in this video I'm going to show you how you can get almost perfect model matching for V-Pilot and VATSIM in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Okay, so there's two things we're going to need to download to get this working. Now, this is the assumption that you already have vPilot set up. So the first thing you want to do is head over to msfsaddons.org, go to liveries and download the latest Clinks Mega Pack to get all the liveries available to you. Okay, download that, install that. The instructions how to do so can be found on the page. And the other one, we want to head over to here. Now they'll have the links down in the description, but we want to go to GitHub and Omar Ocasio, if I'm pronouncing that right, uh, has the information here that we're going to download uh, for the model matching. So we're going to download this. Um, simple instructions. So let's pull this up. This will be the download. Uh, again, there's not much in there as you can see, but what we want to do is once we have this downloaded here, we need to go to settings, model matching, custom rules, add custom rule and then we're going to go to here wherever you've got your folder select this vmr file okay apply okay and that's it simple as that okay now there is a few caveats to this in that if for example you have someone on the network who is flying an easyjet aircraft it's an airbus it will show correct same British Airways, it should show British Airways Airbus. However, if they're flying, say, a Ryanair, which is a 737, it still will only show the generic Airbus livery. However, let's go into the sim and I'll show you what we mean. Okay, guys, so we are locked in right now on the network here based at Gatwick. I'm going to have a look at some of the traffic. We've got, this, we've got a British Airways, an EasyJet, a Thompson, and a Ryanair. So let's go see what we can see now. So immediately we can see the Ryanair. We can see the British Airways. Not too sure about the Delta. I might mean, be custom generic. And again, Iceland Air. Um, again, you know, there's no one on these stands. This is just been brought into the sim. And the Thompson's logged off. But if we look at this EasyJet, this EasyJet is an A319, so it's an Airbus, so it simulates it perfectly. This British Airways is an A320, so it knows to put A320s in because the sim has Airbuses. Let's go take a look at the Ryanair though. So the Ryanair that's sat there is in generic Airbus, and if we go on here, a 737. So, that's what I said before, model matching kind of works with the correct liveries if we do have air buses or aircraft that's in the sim. Okay, but let's go see what happens at another airport. So here we are over at Amsterdam, online on the network, we've got an EasyJet and an EVA611. So let's go see what we can see. So straight away, we can see the EasyJet again. Uh, with no aircraft spot on top of it, but I think that might be the sim spawning them in. And the EVA is over here now. I will say this the EVA isn't matched in terms of livery, um, but it does have the aircraft. But let's go to one more place. Okay, so here we are then at Bradley Airport over in the States. 
So what will we get here? Well, on the ground, we have a United Airlines A320, the one that I don't actually recognize under DCM 127A319. When we're in the sim, we can see, well, we don't have the livery, so it's simulated with the generic Neo here, but lo and behold, once again, an Airbus A320 of United Airlines, and what do we see? Well, we see United Airlines livery. So it does work if you have the liveries. So the model matching is improved. So guys, with that said, let me know what your thoughts are. Other than that, enjoy your new model matching.